Hey everybody, it's whatever my name is, and I've got another uh, Minecraft tutorial for you guys today. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install mods to Minecraft. Um, I've gotten a few requests to do this one, so I'm going to do it. Um, I want to start out saying, this isn't actually going to teach you guys how to make mods. Uh, you'd have to know Java for that. Um, but this is going to show you guys how to like install pre-made ones and install popular ones to the game so it's actually a really easy process it's just a lot of information I have to get to you guys so uh, I'm gonna do my best to show you guys how all this works and uh, hopefully answer any questions you might have so let's begin the first thing you want is this program it is TCF's mod manager uh, I'll have a link in my description um, I'll take you to this page this is the forum it's on the minecraft forums minecraftforum.net um, it's got a lot of information on there. You probably don't really care about it. So click there, download it, get the newest version, whatever it is, and it should be a jar file like this one. So once you have it, open it up. Oh, and by the way, if you're having trouble opening it up, like it's if it's trying to open with WinRAR, uh, let me I'll, uh, let me wait. If it's trying to open with WinRAR, right click, say open with. Java Platform SE Binary. Um, if that's not an option, then you should download the newest Java uh, from the internet. So download that, open with that, hit OK. Then it'll take us, it'll say it wants to commence the unzipping of our game, and we'll say yes. So this is what the program looks like. Um, this is just a program that mods your jar file. Um, so before we actually start, I want to point this out. Uh, so hit start, run, percent sign, app data, percent sign. If you've done this before, this shouldn't be too hard. Open dot Minecraft, and then um, you might want to make a copy or save of the bin somewhere else because we're going to be modding it. Um, if there's a compatibility issue, and we'll get to this later, but if there's a compatibility issue and it won't work, uh, then you're going to have to either A, you know, delete the bin, and that'll delete your texture pack and whatever other mods you might have on there. So you want to make a copy of this. Um, you probably want to make a copy of your saves, too, because those can get corrupt if you have, uh, if you, like, if you mod. And I'll, t I'll talk about all this in just a little bit, but anyways... What I did, I actually made a copy of my .minecraft completely, which has all the files in there. So if anything screws up, I can just re delete it and replace it with this one. So, first thing you want to do, we've already done the first thing you want to do. So you have this, <laughs> it's TCF's Mod Manager. Um, so I want to talk about, there are two different types of mods. There's ones that use TCF Mod Manager and ones that don't. Ones that do will say it's compatible with TCS Mod Manager. It'll say download TCS Mod Manager and download it this way, and uh, install it this way. But ones that don't use TCS Mod Manager, you're gonna have to manually install, and those usually have instructions on how to do it. Most mods nowadays use this program. Um, it's a very good program. That's probably why. Uh, so, anyways, I don't want to talk too much about that. So, let's download your first mod. Uh, this is Mine Colony. If you've never heard of it, it's a really good mod. I'm not going to talk about it all that much. But anyways, um, it's really fun. So what you're going to do is go to the forum. You're going to go to Minecraft Forums. You're going to click on Board Index, and you're going to click on Mapping and Modding. And it's going to take you to this page with all these different mods on it. Um, this one, it, usually the most popular ones are on the top page. Um, but if you look at these forums, I've got tons of information about all the different mods and stuff. So find Mine Colony or whatever you want to do. I'm just going to show you Mine Colony because um, this is one of my favorites. So find the download link. If I can find it wherever the hell it is. There it is. Okay. Find it. And yeah, also, I didn't show you guys, but it did say it is avail it is compatible with the, whatchamacallit, uh, TCS Mod Manager. So I have Google Chrome, so I can just drag and drop this. You're going to drag the zip file and drop it there. Don't unzip it or something, just leave it as a zip file, drop it there, and it should pop up in this left menu. If you can't, if you don't have to use Google Chrome or whatever, it'll just be in your downloads folder. So go, you know, computer, users, downloads, and it should be in there. Uh, so, continuing on, 
this is the thing I've already downloaded it once so we're gonna click whatever mods you can have multiple mods um, so click whatever, whatever ones you want to enable um, if you have an old version you can disable it uh, and re-enable the newer version um, and then just say finish modding I'm not gonna do it because I don't really want to mod this save right now but but uh, whatever anyways uh, now comes all the information I have to tell you guys about modding I've got plenty of time so first things first is incompatibility issues if two mods are not compatible with one another um, usually this program will say it's not compatible but sometimes they might you know this program might not know if they're a new mod or whatever so if they're not compatible um, and you start it up the game uh, the game will either crash or it'll crash or crash <laughs> most of the time it'll crash so you just want to make sure you have the right ones selected you want to read the description did I really exit out damn it anyway the description will usually have information it'll usually say like this is not compatible with this mod so do not do it um, you kinda have to pick and choose which mods you want um, and like I said you can have multiple mods running at one time so let's look at this one uh, if you have to usually wait for your mod to update to the newer version before uh, like if minecraft for instance if minecraft goes from it went from 1.2.2 to 1.3.1 or whatever so if that happens the old mod is usually no longer compatible so you have to get a newer version and mods usually take a few days before they are updated to the new minecraft so when they are uh, they will usually have the new download link and I wish I could do more something more interesting on the screen instead of just talking but anyways uh, they will usually have information on how to like it'll just have the newer version you can replace the old version with the newer version all you have to do is let me show you all you have to do is uncheck the old version and drag the new version and check the new version and it'll it'll all work so um, I want to talk about saves really quick if you have a save on Minecraft, say you have a mod, you finish modding, um, all your saves, whenever you open up a save, it automatically saves. So <laughs> it's kind of confusing. So if I open up Minecraft, I play World 1 or whatever world it is, um, and then I have Mine Colony. Now whatever items or things happen in Mine Colony, that now the save is um, a Mine Colony save, basically. So it won't work. Well, it might work with the regular Minecraft it's kind of hard to explain. So if I if I have a, uh, for instance, if I have an item from the mod and then I delete the mod, I just unenable it and then say finish modding, it'll re it'll get rid of the mod, or I can just delete the bin and download a new one. But anyways, if it the the game will usually crash if you have a modded item in your inventory but you don't have the mod. So that being said, whenever you know you're going to get rid of a mod, you should probably say, oh, I'm not going to have this mod next time I get on the game, so I'm just going to... And you basically all you do is just like throw it in lava or something or let the item disappear. So that way, when you start up the game, it won't uh, crash. And you can really corrupt your save files that way. So try not to do that. Um, pretty sure I got most of the information I talked about. Pretty much everything. So... In conclusion, basically just make sure you read the forum topics. That'll have most of the info. I'll, I'll post probably a few of my favorite mods just so you can look at them and see what see what they have. Um, like oh, mods are compatible with texture packs, so you can just um, basically what it does is it copies your old uh, Minecraft.jar and replaces it with a new modded one. So if you have a texture pack that you have, um, it should work just fine. It sh the texture pack and the mod should still both be there. Um, it shouldn't. I don't. I don't think it'll mess it up. Uh, no, I know for a fact it won't mess it up. So if that's why you need to make a copy, make a save of your old bin just in case you mess mess anything up and it's incompatible. So that's really the the gist of it. Um, I'm sorry that was a lot of talking. I, didn't want to make it like that but I'm just trying to get all the information out to you guys I possibly can so we are really running out of time so thank you guys for watching I hope most of this helped if you have any questions just post them in the comments section so thank you guys for watching